Well, it is official. The semester is coming to close and the finals are hitting. I'm already done half of my finals and I'm kind of losing my sanity. So I've decided that there's probably no better way for a fisherman to gain his sanity back than try fishing. So here I am at the university pond and I'm going to see if there's any pike here. I heard someone saying that they caught a few pike in here the other day. They seem like they were kind of lying, but might as well try. So we'll see. I'm just going to start fishing with a, with a spoon. But if the fishing isn't very fast, what I'm honestly going to do is I'm going to get a pickle rig on. I'm going to set that up. I'm just going to leave it there as I sit there studying on my laptop. I brought my laptop in a garbage bag so it can be safe from the rain because it's been raining all day. And either way, I'm going to try to gain my sanity as I'm losing my sanity studying. So let's see if there are any fish in here that are wanting to bite today. And let's see if I can manage not to get my camera stolen as I'm trying to film myself fishing. That might be hard. University's little sketch. Not even a follower. Well today I'm a pretty impatient fisherman because I honestly have some studying to do. So I'm going to keep walking around this lake and I notice that on the other side of the lake there's a nice bench there. So I'm going to fish my way to that bench and if I don't catch any fish doing that then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the pickle rig there and then I'm going to just sit there studying as I have my rod in my holder and hopefully I can catch a fish somehow today. But if I don't at least I got out of the miserable university and I hopefully had fun, though honestly just being outside out of the university is fun. So uh, hopefully this will work out for me. Well I just got a little scrappy guy on right now. Uh, he came following on my spoon but he didn't want to take my spoon. So what I did was I turned to a uh, with a pink jig head with a white body and that's what he took. He's actually amazingly fat. I did not expect them to be very fat in this lake. But look at that, just a tiny little pike. I don't think I've caught a pike this small for who knows how long. But you can see the girth on him. It's actually quite amazing. But I'll just put him back in the water for a sec. Let you take one more view of him. And then I'm going to release him. Because I don't think that there's many fish in this lake. Well, in this pond, I should say. But at least they look healthy. It's got a nice girth on him. Look at that guy, he's fat. But time to go. There he goes. Well, that was honestly about the size I expected to catch here. There's a no size limit here at this pond, so I don't imagine the fish really get a chance to get too big. And I know that there's a lot of outdoorsmen that go to this university, so I imagine lots of them are out here all the time catching fish. Like right now as I'm fishing, I can see one other fisherman, but hey, I finally caught a fish, so I'm happy might actually gain a little bit of my sanity back, but I'm going to keep fishing and I'm going to see if I can't catch something else casting this jig and if I can't I'll put on a pickle rig and I'm just going to sit down on a nice bench and study away like a crazy student. Okay, slowly, slowly regaining my sanity back from all the studying. Just caught another one, smaller than the last one. You can see from the video that he's a lot skinnier and the other one but still healthy so I'll just release him quickly I don't think I can while holding the camera though because oh it did work yeah so two fish not big very dinky but that's what I expected in this pond 
So we'll see if I catch much else. If not, this will be a good video still. Well, before I forget, I better tell you how long I've been fishing to catch those two fish. So right now, I have been fishing for 33 minutes. And the last fish I caught was about five minutes ago. So about, about 28 minutes, caught two fish, both dinky, tiny, pathetic looking, but they were fish. So yeah, 28 minutes, two fish, not bad, not great, can't complain. It's better than studying, right? Though honestly, I'm gonna take a few more casts with this jig on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pickle rig on and then I'm gonna start studying as I wait for fish to bite because I do need to study. I have three exams next week, so it's probably smart to study, especially when there's sciences. Every single one is a science class, so yeah, studying's probably pretty darn important. But might as well have a little bit more fun. I'll keep you updated if I catch anything. Okay, pike number three. Just another dinky guy. I just about the same size. I am starting to think that this is about how big this pond produces. And this guy is about the same. Sorry, can't grab my line. He's about as skinny as the last one. Nothing special at all. See, just another skinny guy. I don't know what that, what was so special about that first one I caught. That first one, definitely had a lot more meat on him than the first one. This one's gonna need some pliers, let's see. Okay, yeah, it's pretty hard to film as I'm holding the camera to release a fish. So, just appreciate the fish. As you can see them right now, I can't tell if the camera sees it right now or not yet. Just a dinky guy, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna get a good, a good photo of him. So, yeah, gonna release him. If you see that, which I can see it on my screen, that's a dead crayfish. And that should probably not be in here. Someone would have put him in here but that also would account for some of the food that the fish are eating in this lake, or pond, better said. So anyways, there. That's probably something on the plate of these pike in here is crayfish. It's actually really good food for the fish. A lot of bass fishermen use hooks that look like crayfish for their bait. Anyways, I just found that interesting because I did not know that there were crayfish in this pond. Well, it's slowed down. I've had about three followers, but all of a sudden it doesn't seem like anything wants to bite. So I'm going to put on a pickle rig, going to put on some smelts, and I'm just going to sit here on this lovely bench and wait for the dinger to go off as I sit there studying on my laptop. Got to study for biology. Yeehaw. So much fun. Anyways, at least I'll be doing something somewhat fun while I'm doing something somewhat miserable. Well, there, finally set up. As I cast it the second time, I got another bite, but it didn't stick on, but it's still my bait. So, it only took me a ridiculous amount of time to actually get it set up. But now, I can turn on this beauty and start studying, like I've been procrastinating to do all day. But anyway, let's see if anything bites. I'll be sure to film if anything does. Well, I just missed one. I should really go to a bench where I can sit closer to my rod, but I can't get to my rod in like three seconds. It would be more ideal to have the rod literally right next to me, but oh well. I need to study, but I had a bite, missed it, and the geese are making a heck of a noise right now. Back to studying. So I just caught another one. Slightly bigger, but not really. I am going to explain my method right away because it actually worked really well. I wasn't getting any bites there, and so I switched methods slightly. And anyways, there he goes, happily. Probably not too happy because I had to drag him up on shore. Don't like to do that normally. And I'm sure I'll get a few trollers on here for doing that. Don't worry, I don't normally do that. I just left my camera up there, so I drug him up for 10 seconds as I quickly grabbed my camera. Anyway, so what I did was, I wasn't happy how this was working because 
Every, my bait was just sitting on the bottom, so what I did was I put a bobber about a foot above the pickerel rig. That makes it so that the rig is obviously off the ground. And yeah, <laughs> right after I casted it, I got fish, so obviously works. Anyways, I'm gonna get back fishing. Well, I just caught this pike and it took the hook super deep and it was bleeding like crazy. And I tried to revive it, but it wouldn't revive. So since this pond has no size limit, I decided that I'd keep it and do one of those stupid videos that is really popular nowadays. Uh, I don't even remember what they're calling it. But it's like something to plate. I'll Google it. I'll actually name it that for my video. But yeah, I'd never keep a pike this big, but since it went belly up and there's no size limits on this pond, I'm gonna keep it and cook it up because why waste it? But for the record, if you're fishing somewhere and you catch a fish and it's, it's below the size limit and that lake or pond has a size limit, you're not allowed to keep the fish. If it's below the size limit, you still have to put it back in the lake. So, that's that's very important to remember. So if you're fishing at a lake, there's a size limit, a fish goes belly up, that was below the size limit, don't keep it, you still gotta throw it back in the water. So anyways, sorry for killing the future fish guys, but hopefully it'll taste good. So for the record, anyone that knows the pond that I was fishing at, my recommendation is that you don't keep fish from there unless they do go belly up because small pond, not many pike, pike are all pretty small, so I'd recommend that you catch and release unless they go belly up. And maybe some of you are driving by in these vehicles right now. Anyways, that was fun fishing, if I counted right, I got five, I'll have to look at the video footage before. Anyways, so, that was fun, caught some fish in my sanity a little bit and sadly I'm gonna have a fish fry but oh well some fish die once in a while well now I'm gonna now I'm gonna clean the fish but I'm going to after I'm done talking I'm gonna turn it into fast mode but you'll be able to see the gist of what I do to clean the fish I'm just gonna fillet it So there's one fillet, and not bad for a small pike. Can't complain. It's not like I was going out for meat today, anyways. There's fillet number two. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and I'm just gonna get rid of this carcass. Okay. Okay. So now to skin the fish. All you do is you grab onto the, or I guess you probably can't see that. All you do is you grab onto the skin and you start cutting across the skin. You just keep your blade against the skin 
is do a quick sign motion. That's that easy. Now you got the skin and the meat separated. There you have it. Nice little pile of meat. I'm gonna gonna rinse it in the sink and then I'll keep filming. Well, now I'm going to apply a sauce to it. This is a cayenne pepper parmesan sauce. If any of you want to know how to make this, I'll put a link at the end of the video. It's very simple. It's very good on white flesh meat like pike or walleye or halibut or any of those fish. So I'm just gonna smooth that over. You can see that I cut the fillets in half and I kind of laid them all together. And that's just so that it's all like about the same thickness because there were some very thin parts to the fillets because they were small fish. So the rib area had like no meat really. So I just overlaid them on top of each other. Now that I had them nicely covered with that sauce, I got the oven at the right temperature, again just watch my video on how to make cayenne, cayenne pepper parmesan fish. I'm going to cook it and I'll take a little bit of video once it's done.